After setting the suns in Phoenix, it was time for holiday hoops in Los Angeles. One of the most anticipated games of this NBA season. This was the showdown with the two-time defending champion Lakers on their home court. Christmas Day, national TV audience, everybody was going to be watching. Do not give them any life. No gifts. Go, 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 go! We saw the big three leading the way. We saw the defense leading the offense, and that, that's the way this team has to win. James puts it in. And the thing about Staples Center was that place was silent. The heat kind of took all the life out of L.A. Miami visiting Houston tonight can cap off a dominant December with a perfect 10-0 mark on the road. You know, no team in the history of the NBA has ever won 10 straight games on the road in the same month. Five on the shot clock, a steal for LeBron. Look out for Oh my, LeBron with a crusher. At the start of the fourth quarter, Rockets point guard Aaron Brooks foul weighed hard, striking him in the face, drawing blood, igniting controlled rage. The worst thing that you want to do is hit Dwayne and make him bleed. Once you make him bleed, it's over. Miller. Here comes Wade. Got a step, got a score, and got another foul. Wade ended up dropping a season high 45 points on the Rockets. So Wade took it away from Jordan Hill. Here he comes, weaving through the defense. What a play by Jordan Wade. Yeah, I just get mad. I just want to uh, share anything that's in front of me out the way. Uh, I'm angry still. You know, I know I got to get stitches, so I'm real mad right now. The band of brothers jailed together to finish a brilliant month of December strong, going 15 and 1. We have got to maintain poise and composure. December also resulted in Spolstra being named Eastern Conference Coach of the Month. Spo was the calm in the eye of the storm. He understood that you had to coach this team a little bit differently than you would coach any other team. He let these guys know that winning a game just isn't enough. They're going to play Miami Heat basketball. They're going to embrace that culture that Pat Riley and Mickey Harrison helped create. LeBron motors across. Nice pass, Dwayne Wade hammers it home. Also in December, two stars blinded the basketball world, wowing everyone. Wade and LeBron James were awarded co-players of the month. While each of them were able to impact games at a high level, they also identified the trust needed to shine within the flow of the team, the fun foul. We got co-player of the month. You know, we may see co-MVPs, but uh, you know, it, it's an honor. It's an honor uh, that the NBA will give us such a prestige award and uh, we're gonna keep on continue to play like uh, player of the month. The Heat momentum continued and everyone in Miami caught Heat fever. The Miami Heat mattered again to people, and rightfully so. A Heat fan or not, everyone wanted to see LeBron, Wade, Bosch, and the Heat come to town. The first time we went to every city this year, it really was a circus. The Heat was an attraction. Everybody wanted to see this team. Dwayne put it best where he said, yeah, they'll boo us, but they'll pay to boo us. And they did. Every arena they went to was sold out. This team had established itself as, you know, we have such an identity on the road. We're going to go into a hostile environment, and we're going to face it, and we're going to thrive on it. January started just like December ended, with wins. First over the Warriors. Out on the wing, long shot, got it from downtown James Jones. Then a victory over the Bobcats. Here's James on the move, yes, and the foul. Plus back-to-back -back wins over the Milwaukee Bucks. Bosch again, head and shoulders fake, and an emphatic finish. Another opponent feels the wrath of Miami's talented trio. When we feel like we're against all odds, up against the world, you know, in hostile environments, that peaks their concentration uh, to another level. What it's done for us is it has brought us closer, and that spirit has been great on the road. Band of brothers. Winners of 20 out of 21, the Heat notched another victory against the Trailblazers in overtime, despite a seven-point deficit with under two minutes to play. LeBron for three. Yes! LeBron James, you are amazing! <laughs> the Road Warriors have done it. The winning streak survives. 
14 consecutive road wins for Miami. And the Heat, for the first time this year, have moved into first place in the Eastern Conference ahead of the Boston Celtics. Heading into Los Angeles to face the Clippers. The heat seemed to be flying high until one of the most improbable sequences happened. Just under seven minutes to play. LeBron gets a step. Aminu got his hand on the ball, and LeBron may have sprained his ankle. He goes hopping into the stands. And LeBron is shaken up. Oh, he's hurting. Let's see if he can work this out. Shoots a three. Oh, do you believe that? On With a leg. sprained ankle, LeBron James buries a triple and then hobbles down the sideline. What an extraordinary athlete and player LeBron James is. But now, how serious is that ankle sprain? LeBron fought the pain and still produced, but the Clippers ended the Heat's 13-game road win streak. The next night, a mile high and sleep deprived, the Heat faced Denver, a major man down. But the Nuggets were just too much for a road-weary Heat team. Worst defeat this season for Miami. Most points the Heat allow, and the most three-pointers they allow as well. Traveling the East from the West, the Heat found themselves still singing the blues in Chicago. Bosch went to the floor, and Bosch went down hard, and now he's hurt. When you didn't have LeBron, then obviously the storm turned, and then Chris getting hurt late in the second half of that Chicago game, it was all on Dwayne. The Heat down two. Wade fakes the three, now takes it, and scored! Wade has hit three triples in a row! He ended up with 33 points, six rebounds, four assists, and five blocks. But even that wasn't enough to defeat Derrick Rose and the Bulls. Even in a loss, to put that entire Heat team on his back, for him to do that, it was great theater. It just wasn't the perfect ending. The Heat back home tonight after a five-game road trip facing the Atlanta Hawks and hoping to stop that three-game losing streak. There is truly no place like home. The Heat returned to Miami to play in front of their fans. LeBron was back on the ball as he displayed a strong comeback performance against the Atlanta Hawks. That's more like it, LeBron forcing his way to the basket. LeBron ended up with 34 points, 10 rebounds, seven assists, and two steals, but the Hawks ended up grabbing the win in overtime. In the midst of a four-game losing streak, the Heat faced the Raptors. The injury bug kept biting. Now Wade was out due to migraines, but Mike Miller filled the void with a season-high 32 points. You know, Dwayne is out and Chris Bosh is out, and you knew that they could count on LeBron, but who else? Now to Miller, three on the way. Miller's got it from downtown. This team was waiting for the breakout Mike Miller moment. In that second quarter, they were looking for Mike Miller. He set a franchise record with 22 points in the second quarter to help give the Heat the boost they needed. Miller, nice step around. Miller pulls up the jumper, got it on the wing. Oh my, Miller is absolutely hot. Mike, there was a timeout midway through the second. You were really having it going, and then LeBron sort of met you at midcourt, gave you a little couple of little slaps and said something to you. Do you remember what he said? Well, he told me to be aggressive before the game. Uh, you know, that's really the first time that he said something to me. He told me to have it loaded tonight and ready to go. And, uh, you know, and basically he just said, way to shoot it. Welcome back. Let's have some fun. Mike Miller's hot hand helped snap the Heat's four-game losing streak by beating the Raptors. Wade was back playing through intense migraines against the Knicks and wearing goggles to try to ease the pain. If you remember, he ended up coming out scorching in that game. And again, it gets back to that issue where wherever Dwayne seems to be challenged physically in some way, he ends up playing better. Even with goggles, Wade led the Heat for three quarters. Continue to trust each other down there. It's a great play. Okay? Trust each other. In the fourth, the Heat led the majority of the quarter, but with 15 seconds left, the Heat found themselves trailing by three. Chalmers missed the last attempt to tie, and the Knicks were victorious. Detroit came to Miami the next night as Wade set out with wrist pain. Bosch missed his fourth game in a row, and Miller fought his way through an injury, limping during the 42 minutes he played. Mike Miller, 10th rebound, and then the long outlet for LeBron's dunk. Oh, perfect pass, and he's limping back there. Whether he's got an ankle injury, and he's limping around the court, if it's at all possible, he's going to be out there playing, and he's always going to be hustling. When you see Mike Miller out there doing that, I, I think that inspires the other players. House displayed his inspiration, 
by hitting a key jumper to put the Heat up three with two minutes to go. Now House out of the wing, the jumper. Got it, House! Oh, he has been clutch. You were in that spot and he gave the ball up. What's that say about the trust that's in this room? It means everybody depends on everybody, you know. Um, and we believe in each other, so, you know, you don't have a play, you try to make a play for somebody else, make it easier for your teammates. And at the end, that's what happened. On national TV, it was a reminiscent return for the Heat's trio in Oklahoma City game, and their presence was felt. LeBron over the top to Dwayne Wade for the dunk. For the 16th time, LeBron, Wade, and Bosch would score at least 75 points, but the Heat would need more. Kept alive by Miller, James didn't take it. Eddie House takes the three and takes the lead. The Heat headed up north to face their Sunshine State rivals. LeBron elevated his game and registered a historical performance. James for three. Yes! LeBron James from downtown. An entertaining game, a surprising comeback. 51 points for LeBron James. That's the high this season in the league. LeBron's 51 points were the third most in team history as the Heat won by four. The Heat were back in Boston the day before Valentine's Day, and Cupid was not invited as the Heat were smothered by the Celtics again. The Heat bounced back in Indiana in convincing fashion. Dwayne Wade has the rebound. Long hit for LeBron, what a play! What an amazing connection! Yeah, his middle name is Dan Marino. With the all-star break on the horizon, Bosch made his first return to Toronto. From Georgia Tech, a 6'11 forward at number one, Chris Bosch. At the start of the night, Bosch's former fans did not extend a warm welcome. Bottoms up for Chris Bosch. By night's end, the Heat forward pushed through the emotional homecoming and led the Heat to a sentimental victory. Here's Bosch for the takeoff and slam. You fatigued everybody in here with all your scoring. They were healthy booze. They got quiet all of a sudden. Yeah. I, I like that. I love Bulls. The whole, the whole stadium that booed me, I love it. We're happy to get this one for Chris. You guys definitely wanted to band together and win it for him. And now we have the break. We're getting better. And the last third of the season, hopefully, will be our best.